Boys and girls, welcome back in another exciting lesson today. My name is Miss Rita and today I have invited a very special friend of mine to help us with today's topic. Please welcome Yolo. Hello boys and girls. My name is Yolo. Thank you very much Miss Rita for inviting me today. Oh, actually, I should thank you, Yolo, for willing to help me with today's lesson. My pleasure. So, what are we going to learn today? Well, today's lesson is going to be on topic, Get Dressed. In this lesson, we are going to name some clothes. We also going to describe the clothes. Do you know how to describe the clothes that you are wearing right now? Can you describe them? Stay tuned with me and Yolo and let's learn together. Are you ready, boys and girls? Are you ready, Yolo? I'm more than ready. Let's go! Okay. Okay. Now, what are these, Yolo? These are eyes and these are ears. Oh, yes! You are right. We use our eyes to see and our ears to listen. So, we are going to use our eyes and ears to watch a video. A short video of models walking down a runway. Let's check this out. What do you think about the video? Do you like it, Yolo? Yes, I do. It looks fun. Do you want to be like one of them? Mm, to be a model? Huh? Can I? I want to be like a model too. But what is a model? Well, you see, a model is a person who displays amazing and beautiful clothes by wearing them. Maybe you can wear something pretty and start practicing walking like a model after this? Good idea! I can do it! Yolo, do you know any famous model in Malaysia? Yes, I know one. She's quite famous. I know a few, but today, let me introduce you with this amazing model. This is Tuti Noor. She's a model. She's from Malaysia. She's pretty. Yes, she is. Mm, what is she wearing? Do you know? She's wearing amazing clothes. <laughs> Indeed. She is wearing amazing clothes. As you can see, she's wearing a jacket. She's wearing sunglasses too. There are many other types of clothes that a model wears for a fashion show. Can you tell me what are you wearing today? Are you wearing a t-shirt and trousers right now? 
What are the colors? One way to describe our clothes is by using colors. We can use colors to describe the clothes that we wear. Let's recall a few colors that we have learned in year one. Let's look at this one. What color is this? It's blue! You are right. It's blue. What about this one, yellow? It's green! And this one, yellow? It's red! My favorite color! I love red! Hmm. Now, boys and girls, can you tell me what colors are these? It's yellow, white and black. Perhaps after this, you can use colors to describe your clothes. For example, the boy is wearing red t-shirt and blue trousers. Do you know we can also use types of materials to describe our clothes? There are three main materials that we usually use to make clothes. The first one is cotton. We can also use leather. And we have wool. Do you know where are these materials coming from? Yolo, do you know about this material? I don't know, Miss Rita. Can you teach me? Sure, Yolo. It's not a problem at all. As you can see, cotton comes from plants. Cotton is cool. For example, when the weather is hot and sunny, you can wear a cotton t-shirt and cotton shorts. Oh yes, I like to wear a cotton t-shirt and cotton shorts because cotton is cool. You are absolutely correct, Yellow. What about wool? Now, let's talk about wool. Wool comes from sheep. Wool is warm. For example, when it's raining and cold, you can wear woolen sweater and woolen socks. You can also wear woolen clothes when it's snowing as they can warm your body. What about leather? I think I have a leather jacket at home. Wow! Leather jacket. It's not cheap, you know. It's very expensive. Leather usually comes from cows. Leather is strong. For example, you can buy a leather jacket and leather shoes because the material is strong and long-lasting. Perhaps now you can use colors and materials to describe your clothes. What are you wearing right now? Can you describe them using colors and materials? Now, we are going to play an easy guessing game. Yolo, do you want to play with us? I'm ready. Let's go! Right. In this game, what you need to do is... You need to tell me the name of every clue. Then, you need to tell me the color and its material. 
Remember, yeah? Can you do it, boys and girls? You can do it. Can you do it, Yolo? Yes, of course I can. Okay, let's get started with this one. Do you know the name of this cloth? You are right. It's a t-shirt. What's the color of the t-shirt? Yes, this t-shirt is yellow. What's the material? Well done. It's cotton. Do you like this yellow t-shirt? Yes, I do. What do you think, friends? Do you like this yellow t-shirt? Now, you know how to play this game, right? It's easy, isn't it? Yeah, it's easy peasy. I like it. Let's move on to the next one. Do you know the name of these clothes? You are right. These are shorts. What's the color of the shorts? Yes, it's blue. These shorts are blue. What's the material? Yolo, do you know? I know. It's cotton. Just like the t-shirt. Oh, ingenious. You are right. Friends, do you like these shorts? Honestly, I don't like these shorts. I don't like the colour. Do you like these shorts? Hmm, well, it's your choice. There is no right or wrong in this answer. Let's try this one. Do you know the name of this cloth? Yes, it's a sweater. What's the colour of this sweater? I know, it's green. This sweater is green. Good job, Yolo. You are right. But do you know what's the material of this sweater? Oops, friends. Can you help me? What's the material of this sweater? <laughs> well, boys and girls, I'm sure you know this. Can you tell me the material of this sweater? Awesome! Yes, it's wool. Now, do you like this sweater? If you like it, you can say, yes, I do. But if you don't like it, you can always say, I don't like it. Remember, there is no right or wrong answer here. So. It's up to you. Next, do you like this sweater? Yes, I do. All right, let's try the other one. Do you know the name of this cloth? I know, I know. These are trousers. You are right. Good job! What about the colour? What's the colour of these trousers? Friends, what's the colour of these trousers? These trousers are red. Now, can you tell me the materials for these trousers? I know it's cotton. Just like the shorts and the t-shirt. Amazing, Yolo. You are right. Friends, do you like these trousers? 
I like these trousers. If you don't like these trousers, you can simply say, no, I don't. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. So, it's up to you. All right, let's move on with the next one. Do you know the name of this cloth? You are right. It's a jacket. What's the color of this jacket? I know. It's black. This jacket is black. Correct. Do you know the material? Friends, do you know the material of this jacket? I know it's a strong material. It's leather. And yes, leather is strong. Do you like this sweater? Remember, there is no right or wrong for this answer here. I want more. What's next? Let's look at this one. Boys and girls, do you know the name of this cloth? Perhaps Yolo can help you for this one. I can. It's pretty. My sister likes to wear it. Friends, can you tell me the name of this cloth? This is a skirt. And yes, only girls are wearing skirts. Now, can you tell me the color and the material of this skirt? I know, Miss Rita. This skirt is purple. It's cotton, just like the trousers, the shorts, and the t-shirt. Splendid! Splendid! You are right, Yolo. Cotton is cool. We usually wear cotton clothes when the weather is hot and sunny. Great! You still remember? Do you like this skirt? Mm -mm. Okay, okay, alright. I understand, Yolo. I know that this is not your department. Next. We have this one. Do you know what is this? Yes. It's a cap, Miss Rita. Can you tell me the color of this cap? There are so many colors. It's nice. I like it. But how should I describe it? Oh, it's easy, Yolo. When you see something that has many colors, you can say it's Colourful! I get it. This cap is colourful and it's cotton. Am I correct, Miss Rita? You are. Yes, definitely you are. Good job, Yolo. Good job, boys and girls. Now, let's look at this one. Perhaps for this one, Yolo can help you, boys and girls. I wear these every day. Friends, do you know what these are? These are socks and shoes. They look similar with the ones that you wear every day to school, right? These are socks and these are shoes. Awesome! You are right, Yolo. Did you get them correct, boys and girls? Next, can you tell me the color of the socks and the shoes? These socks are white and these shoes are black. Well, boys and girls, together with Yolo, can you... 
all tell me the material uh, for the socks and the shoes? Yes, I can. Oops, yes, we can. Great. Can you tell me the material for the socks first? It's wool. Correct. Mm, what about the material for the shoes? Um, it's leather. Leather is strong and long-lasting. Do you like the cotton socks and the leather shoes? Yes, I do. I like the cotton socks and the leather shoes. Boys and girls, if you don't like cotton socks and leather shoes, you can simply say, No, I don't. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. So, it's up to you. What do you think about this guessing game and describing game? Did you enjoy it? Did you get all the answers correct? Well, well done! Now, can we move on to the next part of this lesson? It's time to check your understanding. Are we ready? Yes, I am. I am so ready. You sound confident. That's great, Yolo. Let's look at this picture. Can you describe the clothes that this girl is wearing? Perhaps Yolo can help you, boys and girls. Don't forget about the colors and the materials that we have learned earlier, okay? Okay. Friends, let's try together. Are you ready? Number one is a T-shirt. This T-shirt is red. It's cotton. Amazing! Good job, Yolo. Can you describe number two? Number two is a skirt. This skirt is white. It's cotton. I'm so proud of you, boys and girls. You are doing great out there. Now, let's try another example. I hope you boys and girls out there can describe the next picture correctly. Let's look at this picture. Can you describe number one and number two? Oh, it's easy. I can do it. Yes, even you boys and girls also can do it. For number one, it's a jacket. Can you tell me the color of the jacket? This jacket is black. Mm, what about the material? It's leather. Good job, Yolo. And you, boys and girls, not bad, huh? You all are doing an amazing job out there. Now, it's time to describe number two. I hope you can describe correctly. Um, number two is shoes. These shoes are black. Awesome! Can you tell me the materials of the shoes? Hmm, it's leather. They look amazing. Yes, indeed. I like them. They look amazing. So, that's it, boys and girls. Well done. Everyone, good job. 
Now, let me ask you this question. What is the one cloth that you wear every day? For me, it would be a t-shirt. There are so many clothes that we have learned today, such as t-shirts, shorts, sweater, trousers, jacket, skirt, cap, socks and shoes. I hope you can remember all of this. And don't forget to use colors and materials when you want to describe any cloth. Remember, cotton comes from plants, leather comes from cows, and wool comes from sheep. Cotton is cool, leather is strong, wool is warm, I won't forget that. Yes, I'm so proud of you, Yolo. You have helped our boys and girls out there a lot. Thank you, Yolo. You are most welcome, Miss Rita. Okay, that will be all for today. I hope you have enjoyed and understand what we have learned today. Don't forget, boys and girls, always wear clean clothes every day. Stay clean and stay healthy. Until then, see you boys and girls in another exciting episode. Goodbye!